Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. Is it day or is it night? I don't know, you decide. Today we're gonna to be painting the moon and the sun. I have my materials here. I have my primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and black and white. My two brushes, a flat brush and a round brush, paper towel, and a cup with water. And then I have my cardboard, uh, not cardboard, um, cardstock paper. It's a nice thick paper, but you can use your canvas, a cardboard, anything. And I also have something special today. We're gonna use a bowl to trace. All right, let's get started. Grab your pencil now. My paper is horizontal. And I'm gonna place the bowl right in the middle of the paper. So find the center and then trace it around. There you go. Now, we're gonna cut it in half, that circle in half, but we're gonna curve it, and that's gonna be our moon. It's gonna look like the shape of the moon. There you go. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're gonna paint over it. Got it? Okay, that's all we need to draw. Let's paint now. Grab the biggest brush you got, your flat brush, wet it a little bit, and we're going to start painting the dark night. Right over here, grab some blue. A nice blue and try to trace around, go around the moon. Just half, you're only gonna paint half of the painting, of the, the paper. Paint it blue, paint it all blue. Then as you paint, try to follow the shape of the moon. So paint it in a curve like this. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of purple, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of red to that blue. And on the edges, it's actually gonna be purple. You see, and you see how I'm following the shape going around? It's, it, it's important, it's gonna look really nice that way. Maybe a little more purple. Go side and around like that. See? Woo! Like you just keep following that shape. So you went from blue into purple. Very good. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush. It's okay if you have some blue left on the brush because you're going to use blue again. But this time you're just going to make more of a light blue. So get some blue and white. And now you're gonna go on the other side, painting light blue, light color blue, because now you're painting the day. You were painting the night, and now you're painting the day. I'm gonna, a good idea is to kind of trace the the sun already, and then you paint the rest. You have more freedom to paint around. I'm making more light blue. Go all the way out. I'm just gonna make the ends, instead of darker, I'm gonna actually make it a little bit lighter. So I 
just added a little more white towards the, the edges. Okay, so we painted one side and another. Now let's paint our moon and our sun. Clean your brush. I'm going to start with black for the moon and I will trace here around. Now on the inside part of that circle, I'm going to make it black just on the left side where the moon is. You see? Trace it. And now I kind of painted about half of that of the moon. And now for this part, I'm going to add white. So it's going to go from dark black from black into a gray from dark to light you see because we're painting a circle so your strokes need to be always round so we went from dark to light thermal okay all right I like it clean your brush completely I don't want to see any black gotta be nice and clean and now we we'll paint the sun and the sun is yellow so grab some yellow And on that white part that you haven't painted yet, you're going to cover it all yellow. And continue to follow the line. Curve it. So here with the moon, we were curving this way. Now with the sun, we're gonna curve the other way. We're gonna follow the line that is closer to us. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the middle here of the sun because I want my sun to be lighter and brighter. Yeah. So now as we go to this side here, we're going to curve it right, rightwards and I'm going to make an orange. Just like this, the moon has that dark side here, the sun is also going to have an, a little darker side, but it's going to be orange. So now I'm follow that line, just keep, try to keep it steady as you can and then you can color it in. Trace it first and then paint it. Paint it in. And the, the goal is to be able to make the, the yellow kind of blending to the orange. So if you need to add a little more yellow again, where the two colors meet, do that. Over here. 
start to get some more of that light yellow again. But I just want it to be a gradual fade from one color to another. There you go. See? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I like it. What I'll do now, I'm going to make the sun rays. Okay? And I'll use... I'm going to use the smaller brush. I think I'm going to have more control over that. I'm going to start with that orange, that orange color. It should have some orange. And right here, we're going to make a little wavy line. Press the brush and make a little wavy line. See? Wavy. So you press it down and then wave. And as you get to the end, you release the pressure of the brush. So that way you get a, get a point. Wave and point. So when you pick up the brush, it becomes thin at the end. Make sure you have some nice, we have some water in your paint so your brush can flow nicely. small one here where both colors meet try to go over with one of these waves just to kind of separate the two areas cool you see that and then I'm gonna let that dry clean your brush in the meantime let's add some stars to the sky to the night so get some white and just dab Make some little dots. Make make some little ones, some thicker ones. If you press harder, it goes smaller. I mean, get it goes bigger. And then if you press, you, you barely touch. It's gonna be a little tiny. So I want you to have a variety of shapes. Some little ones. Some closer to each other. Stars, they're not super organized. They kind of grow some really close to each other and then some far away. So make some stars, just little points here, little dots. There you go. Have fun with it. It's a star party. Now with this white that you have, <clears throat> Let's see if we can maybe trace right in the middle here where the sun and the moon meet. Let's see if we can make a line. Right here. If you don't like that line that much, I'm actually not crazy about it. I'm going to try to fade it into the moon a little bit so that white doesn't look so bright. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, kind of faded away. And now let's add a little more touch to this sun ray. So I'll get some yellow and then white. Mix white and yellow together. So you're going to have a nice pale yellow, very light, and we're going to over about half half of the of the sun ray is going to be yellow and then the other half is going to be orange. So I'm kind of going over a little bit here on the side. Still leave the the orange showing. Just about half of it is going to be yellow. Just follow the shape that you already made before. I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight. There we go. And you do it all on the same side. So you see I did it all on the right side of the rays. So 
people do that all on the same side. Very cool. What do you think? Do you like it? Clean your brush. Okay, this is pretty much night and day together. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again tomorrow for another painting challenge. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you did. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dotty Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.